Hello everyone, in this video we will cut threads on a pipe using die head pipe threaders. For the manufacture of threaded connections, pipe die heads are widely used in plumbing. The tapping head resembles a die for threading, but differs from it in that it has a more complex design. On one side of the head, there is a guide with edges for gripping with a key, and on the other, there are threading knives. On one side of the head there is a guide with edges for gripping with a key, and on the other, there are thread cutting knives. In the head body, the cutters are held in special grooves, for replacement of which a removable ring is provided that holds them in place. To work with the head, special keys are used, in the form of a ratchet wrench. To facilitate the work, there are also electric keys. For infrequent work on threading, you can also use a regular pipe wrench, the main thing here is that the lever of the wrench is longer. For occasional threading in the workshop, I use a homemade wrench made from pipe scraps, where the part holding the head itself is made from a short piece of 50mm profile pipe. The connection of the profile pipe and the handle is made by welding, of course, such a key will not help in any way when working in a confined space, but when threading in a workshop, it helps to save time and effort. The cutters of the pipe cutting head have a lead in at the very beginning, due to which they calmly enter the pipe. In my situation, a head is used with the most common type of thread, BSPT, which stands for, British Pipe Conical Thread. When using this type of head, the thread is tapered. But, if certain conditions are met, the twist length and so on, it can be compatible with the inner cylindrical one. What is the only thing is to understand that when assembling such a connection, when screwing a product with a tapered thread into a regular fitting, it is not advisable to exert excessive force. Since the tapered thread goes for expansion and screwing the threaded pipe into the fitting to its full internal thread will not work, and if a lot of force is applied, the fitting can simply burst. On the workpiece from the pipe, using a grinder, I remove a small chamfer. During threading, the pipe must be securely fixed, since the force during threading is high enough, for this I clamp the workpiece in a vise. For free rotation of the head, I lubricate the pipe using thick grease. Putting the head on the pipe, with the guiding part along the thread, I perform primary rotation with my hands until the metal is bitten by the cutters, after which I rotate the head with the key. I rotate the head with the obligatory return of half a turn, such a measure helps to clean the thread from chips, so that the thread will not break off during the cutting process and will be of normal quality. Having passed the required distance in this way, I unscrew the head in the opposite direction and check the thread. In such a simple way, you can make any necessary pipe sections with threads, the only thing is that small pieces of pipes are quite difficult to fix in a vise, and for threading on such sections, it is easier to weld them to something. That's all, subscribe to my channel, put your likes, good luck to everyone and see you soon.